Okay, what we did here is pulled the wheel off the El Camino. We jacked it up, we put a jack stand underneath there because you always want to have a safe garage. And what we mentioned earlier is, I don't think we're gonna stick with these factory wheels. We're gonna have an aftermarket wheel on here that will show off this caliper. And we certainly don't wanna show off this particular caliper because of how ugly it is. So what we're gonna use on here is some of the VHT caliper paint. This caliper paint is good up to 900 degrees. So if you get your brakes nice and hot, it's not gonna come off. Considering we're going to pull this caliper off, we're going to use the spray. Now, this project can be, you know, this paint can be applied on the vehicle, you know, without move, removing the caliper, and that's where the Dupacolor kit comes in. This is a brushed kit, comes in a little pint can, a brush, everything you need to complete the project, and it even comes with the caliper spray to clean the caliper. So that can be applied while the caliper is on the vehicle. We're going to pull this one off. I think we might change these brake pads while we're at it, and. Uh, I think it should come out real nice. What we're gonna use here is the Dupacolor caliper cleaner. And like I said earlier, any caliper cleaner will do. Considering this comes in the, in the Dupacolor kit, that's what we're gonna use. And you can see how dirty this caliper is here. I mean, it's just covered in brake dust. Okay, what we did here is we pulled the caliper off as we uh, showed you. We uh, sprayed it down with some of the caliper cleaner and saw that there was some blue paint on there. The caliper cleaner was able to dissolve some of that blue paint and then I took a wire brush to it and scrubbed it all down got the grease and grime off there, and uh, the majority of the blue paint came off. And with the engine enamel, the caliper paint is good up to 900 degrees and you do not need a primer as well. You can just prime right over top of the clean surface here. Alright, well we finished with the front caliper, now we're going to move on to the rear. The rear is going to be a little bit different here, so what I, what I want to show you here is uh, these older cars, they had drum brakes in the rear, a lot of new cars have calipers all around. Pull this off and see what we got. You know, as, as we did earlier, we jacked up the vehicle, put some jack stands underneath it, because you always want to have a safe garage. And uh, here we have a, an unpainted uh, brake drum here. The front caliper in the front, as you saw, was previously painted blue. This one here is bare, so uh, give us a nice uh, clean slate to work with. All right, well, uh, what I did earlier was I pulled the drum off the vehicle. I have it here on the table. Unlike the caliper, we're able to take this drum off just because the caliper, uh, you know, pulling the brake lines off of that, and then you have to deal with re-bleeding the brakes and things like that. So, you know, in that case, it was a little easier to paint the caliper while I was on the vehicle. In this case, we're able to get the drum on the table, make it a little easier to paint. And what we did first was we knocked all the, br or all the rust off of it with the wire brush. You're able to purchase that from any auto parts store. Another way to clean it is uh, just go ahead and sandblast it. If you have a sandblasting cabinet in your own garage, but not everyone has that. So uh, just use the wire brush on this. And uh, after that, we used the prep spray. With the prep spray, I was able to get any grease, grime, or contaminants and a lot of the dust that was left over from uh, knocking, it, knock, knocking it off with the wire brush. So that went ahead and cleaned it, and uh, next I'm gonna apply the caliper paint. With the caliper paint, it's good up to 900 degrees, and uh, considering these brakes probably won't get anywhere near 900 degrees, I think we'll, we'll be good to go there. So I just wanna start spraying here, and uh, you know, as mentioned, we don't have to use a primer on this. It's a self-priming paint. It's in a very durable enamel. It gives off a very nice glossy finish. And uh, you know, as mentioned, that you can add a clear coat over top of that, which we do offer in the caliper line, for some added protection or some added gloss if you're not happy with the final result. And uh, you certainly always want to have proper ventilation in your shop whenever you're spraying paint. If you don't, you're going to want to wear a mask. We have plenty of uh, ventilation going on here though. You can almost see the overspray kind of blowing away from me, so. Okay, well we waited about five minutes and uh, now we're gonna start putting on the second coat. And uh, you wanna wait about, you know, five minutes in between coats just to let that first coat kind of tack up a little bit. So then the second and third coat have something real good to bite to.